Protests began when Ukraine's former president failed to sign a European trade agreement. Within days, hundreds of thousands were protesting in Kiev. Anti-protest laws were passed. But the unrest turned deadly. Violence like this hadn't been seen in Ukraine for 70 years. A compromise deal was signed, but the protests continued. And the president vanished. Pro-Russian gunmen began seizing buildings in Crimea. Weeks later, Crimea voted for independence, with Russia backing the move. More government buildings began being seized in the east. The deadly clashes between pro-Russia and pro-Ukraine supporters. Independence was declared in Luhansk and Donetsk in referenda not recognized by Ukraine and the West. Ukraine then held presidential elections, swearing in Petra Poroshenko. Ukraine's army launched an anti-terrorist operation in June. Rebels left Slovyansk. Weeks later, a Malaysia Airlines plane was shot down. There's been no let-up in the fighting, and in the last week, the rebels have opened up a new front.